But the case for CHP is among the most compelling I've heard for three overarching reasons, value, reliability, and efficiency. Let's begin with value. A recent analysis done by ICF International exam the, examined the economics of installing new natural gas boilers and compared it with a CHP system sized to serve a medium to large uh, institutional facility. While the upfront installation costs to the CHP system came with a higher price tag than the natural gas boilers, its value quickly became apparent. According to the analysis, the CHP system offered annual net savings of $2.4 million, which made the payback period less than seven years. In other words, the system pays for itself relatively quickly and then continues to provide end users with significant savings each year. And that's to say nothing about the other benefits conferred in the form of less maintenance, the elimination of fuel deliveries, and even better use of valuable building space. Then there's the issue of reliability and resiliency. And here, I think one figure sums it up quite nicely, 99.999%. This number, as you know, corresponds to the reliability of most district energy systems today. It's about as close to perfect as you can get. And that high level of performance, which is appreciated by consumers, is obviously essential for critical facilities like hospitals, fire stations, police stations, and big data centers. So CHP and district energy have a lustrous appeal in this context. And you already have an incredible story to tell. Superform Superstorm Sandy, one of the costliest and most destructive hurricanes in our history, brought uh, the Northeast, including New York City, itself a symbol of American power and ingenuity, to its knees. In the city that never sleeps, darkness fell on 8.5 million people. Yet in few places, a few islands in the city, if you will, electricity kept flowing because of the technologies and the solutions that you all provide. And it made a world of difference. One co-op equipped with CHP was the only building on Lower Fifth Avenue to provide energy and full services to its re residents, who were able to take in other friends and family members who weren't so lucky. At Salem Community College in New Jersey, the CHP system was a sole source of power during the storm, but it performed flawlessly and allowed the Red Cross to provide a comfortable shelter to dozens of families. Farther north in Connecticut, the town of Greenwich lost power for a week, but the local hospital was able to keep the lights on thanks to its CHP system. In fact, it was able to continue normal operations throughout the storm and take in patients that could not be admitted at other hospitals. These are powerful examples of how your solutions can provide power when people need it most. It's energy you can count on. All of you should feel enormously proud of that. And this industry must highlight those success stories at any and every opportunity because they will be remembered. Now, in addition to the value and impressive reliability of CHP systems, they also offer greater efficiency. In this regard, CHP stands above all its competitors. Today's conventional method of generating heat and power separately is a combined efficiency of around 45%, so not really anything to write home about. In comparison, by capturing the heat that would otherwise be lost and then putting it to productive use, CHP systems can reach a much higher level of operational efficiency in the ballpark of 75 to 80%. That means two things. First, it saves user money. And second, it provides an immediate path for business, universities, hospitals, and other facilities to shrink their carbon footprint. 